every morning, me and my entourage here of dogs and cats, or cat, take a lap around the property, just check for things out of place. I let the, the Weathers and now Lacey and the Dolings out of that pen and just look for stuff out of place. Coyotes, javelinas. Had a telephone pole arc in the other day, other morning, that was interesting. Let's make sure that there's nothing on my fences. Cows. Seems like there's always an issue with cows. Now I'm gonna wake up, uh, wake up the family and I'm gonna do our morning chores. And then it's breeding time. All right, guys, today is a super exciting day. The boys, as you can tell, are very excited. Um, it's, it's a lot of moves have to take place here, and we want to make sure there's no accidental breeding. So we've got to be super careful and be on top of our game. Uh, our first move is going to be Legend and Vader. We're going to move them to the pig pen so that we can get does into that pen. Hello, goat lovers. This is Crystal with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats. What started with four chickens and two goats quickly grew into a lifestyle. So we moved, got more land, and of course, more goats. Follow our adventures as we grow our herd, our food, and our family. Oh, don't let him run. All right. You wanna get him? All right. A little heavy. Not really. Over the pig pen. He tried to get away, mister. <laughs> we'll be back, boys. They're just wondering why they keep going from pen to pen. Pen hoppers. All right, so now we are ready to start moving the does around. First, uh, we got five does gonna come in this pen here, so we're gonna get those does first. Hey, Lodi. You're lucky number one. Look at that house. Get in, get in. Tansy is the intended target. I about got stampeded. <laughs> Now we're getting chilly. Move up, Ma. Oh, I almost got caught. Calm down. Yep. 
So the last doe for this pen is Dawn. She's always fun to catch. Okay. Shoot her out. Up top there. Come here, girl. Blue cactus, red dawn. She's such a punk. So with Dawn, we have decided that we are going to breed her. Um, you know, speaking with a vet and everything, she's pretty much probably going to live out another good solid five years or something. Um, and she's very, very healthy right now. So there's really no need for us to not rebreed her, um, just to allow her to get kind of fat and unhealthy as they do if you don't breed a doe. So we got her penned up to breed. All right, we're done with that pen. Now we're gonna start working on this pen. So we're gonna get those ladies. First up is Elsa. You gonna be good girl, Elsa? Come here. We're good. Let's go. Next is Ruby. Right here, right here. Ah! Oh. Come up top, Darren. Top corner. Oh, oh, oh! Oh! Good job. Nice catch, Bob. Good job. Elsa, be nice. Now we got Woe Nelly. It's Woe Nelly time. That hurt? Yep. Come on out, dude. All right, Darren. Nice. Uh, with my knee. Cameraman yeah. caught you. Now we need Sky, Big Montana. Let's see, will you let me just get you, girl? You don't know what's going on. Come here. Just, you gotta hook her, she'll just freeze. Hi. There you go. <laughs> she just stays there. Now I gotta get some does temporarily into the um, kid pen over here where the ducks are, just to make some more moves for us. Cammy's first, and you're so good right here. Come on, girl. Just temporary, Cammy. We'll be back. Oh man, look at the boys! Oh. 
Lucky. <laughs> now they notice Cammy big time. <laughs> you just calm down, boys. Next up is Pretty Roxy. Oh, she's up here, bud. I'm getting a little jealous of you having all the fun with that, Darren. It's getting awful good at it. It's getting good, yep. We're going to get you, Abilene. The gatekeeper. All right, next we are after Little Miss Abilene. Who is easy to find? <laughs> Hi, sweetie. You ready? Will you jump down for me? Come on. Come on. Oh, you're getting heavy, girl. All right. Lift your head up like a showgirl. There you go. All right, we'll be back. Next up is Little Bit, who happens to be easy to catch right here. With Kirkman over there blocking her way. <laughs> All right, so now we're into these pens. So next we're gonna get Becky and Val and get them up in that top pen. Let's go. Sometimes you just got a goat for it, you know? You know what they say, when the goat gets tough, the Good tough get goating. Go you goat, girl. Oh well, yeah, it would have been better if we could have just caught them and brought them in here rather than she, she goes. Mermaid. Grab her, babe. Come here, babe. With my knee again. Yeah. <laughs> okay, everybody else out? Yep. Yeah? I don't even need a crook. Yep. All out. Okay, the girls are good. Jeez. All right, Derek's got to get this gate. <laughs> You're not going to tell me how awesome I am for catching two goats with my knee? I'm, I might I mean, have that said was three, <laughs> technically, because that was May, May and Becky there. It's a pretty big knee in all fairness to be blocking. Okay, so we got those girls up in that top pen. Now we're going to work on the middle pen, which happens to be Little Miss Maybelline and Beautiful Little Dreamer. So we're going to get those girls who aren't going to be hard to get. your home for a couple months all right so this is the last pen so everybody left is just stuck in this bottom pen so we have a bunch of does hiding under there but we got may maddie mayo lily and cassie so they're in this pen all right, so with the seven crazies, um, I wanted to make sure that we separated them so that we break any bonds that they potentially had. Um, and at the end of all of this, hoping that we're no longer calling them the crazies, that they're a lot more tame and calm and, and able to be handled. So up in this pen, um, I have Becky and uh, Val. Now Becky and Val were never together at their other home. They were in separate pens, so they're not real clicky. Um, you know, they stick together because they are the crazies, but they're not real bonded, those two. So I decided to put those two up here together. So up in here, a um, couple things happen. Now, of course, we got Whoa Nelly, who is absolutely the craziest of all crazies, and, <laughs> and little Ruby there. Now, Ruby is the daughter of Roxy. So because Ruby and Roxy are very, very bonded, we definitely wanted to not uh, have, have Ruby with her mom, Roxy. Um, and then with Whoa Nelly, they kind of, I 
again, they're all clicky with each other. They're all kind of bonded as far as because they're crazy and they came together. But these two are not real close um, as far as the herd. It's more Ruby is very close with her mom. So separating those two. And then, of course, there's uh, Elsa in here and Skye. So they're going to be putting these ladies in check, no doubt. So in this pen, we have Nova and Tansy. Tansy is the oldest of the group and Nova uh, is a younger one. So Roxy here was the dominant doe in all of the seven crazies. She was definitely the one in charge and the leader to them. So we want to make sure she is separated by herself and she's going to go up in the buck pen is where we're going to move her. All right, so now it's the boys. We're going to move the boys into their pens and first up is going to be Vader. Good boy. Okay, let's see how this goes. He found some ladies. Let's see. Hi, girls. Uh. Yeah, new salt lick. Yeah, you betcha. Oh, he smells something. <laughs> sniff your way to those girls, Vader. He's doing a little exploring. Oh great, he found those does. Look at Val. You girls see who's in here? Vader. Is that some fresh cologne on your face there, Vader? <laughs> oh, Lily checking him out. He's blubbering at her. That's not your girlfriend. Very notices. What's going on, Maybelline? <laughs> yeah, he's a buck. Yeah, look, I was starting to wonder. <laughs> this little dog. You guys can hear that silly voice. But. <laughs> I'm sorry, Maybelline. <laughs> oh, there's. She is 
obviously letting off a scent. Um, she's in heat. And that's why he's not real concerned with Dreamer, because she's obviously not. And keep in mind, this is his first time. He will learn. He'll get her. He is like a little magnet. Oh, we got her. Almost. Okay, well, we're going to go get the next buck. You got her. Got him. Like... <laughs> <laughs> hey legend we have a surprise for you buddy you gonna cooperate he's been mad at me since he got copper oh, oh almost darren hurt Go ahead, Is that pig herding goats? Is that crystal towards Emily? Get ready, Darren. Move, 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 move. I am the sideline goat wrangler, it appears. Alright, now legend. Oh, yeah. He's thirsty. He's a little H2O. A little parched. Who's in there, Ledge? Legend is checking out Val. Uh, Bruiser. <laughs> Ooh, he got win there. All right, not a lot of action here. I'm not sure that they're in heat, but he is checking them out. So we're gonna go on to the next buck. Next up is Everest. Close it, Emily. Get away from Lucky, get. Come on, boy. Why not touching me? Come through, boy. Come on, come on, come on. Rico. All right. She's in heat because Vader was sniffing her too when we first put her in. He is right now. <laughs> he is not the Rico Suave he was last year. Kind of aggressive. You'd be so rude about it. No, they are not fawning over him like they were last year, are they? No.
Now we're going to get lucky. You ready, boy? Are ya? Lucky. Danger. Good boy. So last year when we were breeding, we had mentioned um, how we left this middle pen empty because we wanted to make sure the older bucks were not up against the same pen. Um, now, we're not worried about it too much in this scenario just simply because Legend and Vader are younger, so they're not as aggressive as one of the older bucks, plus they're buddies, so we have them up against the same fence. And over here, Everest and, um, and Vader, Vader's not real aggressive at all. Like, Legend's a little more aggressive than Vader, but I don't see Vader trying to fight to, to the death or anything with, with Everest. And on top of that, Everest does not seem to think he's much of a concern. His main concern is down here where they cannot touch each other at least. Um, Lucky and Everest over here. So if these two older boys were sharing a fence, they would just be fighting all day. Um, that's how Lucky lost his ear because that's actually where we learned not to have him up against. Um, you know, you could put a barrier or something along it, but if it was open fencing like that, it would not be a good idea. Uh, Merle's turn. Got it, got it, got it. All right. Lodi. 
boy. Let's go, girl. He's after dawn again. Dawn's over here hiding. <laughs> Are you playing it smart, Shilly? Yeah. He looks scared. She's like, don't talk about me. He hasn't seen me. <laughs> uh oh, Merlin Lodi over here. He thinks she's in heat. Found one. Are you in heat, Lodi? You're under there by yourself, Merle. Lodi. She's like, oh my gosh, you stink. <laughs> The next move is going to get the does over here that are in with the ducks over to the buck pen. girl this is how champ always is he doesn't show anybody he just does it at night what do you think there Roxy hmm what do you think Roxy Like y'all forgot. You can go back in your little hermit cave. Champ. Alright guys, it's been a big couple of days. We have all of our breeding pairs set together. We're going to leave them together for a couple of months um, and just keep them together and I'll be tallying every time one gets bred so that I can keep track of due dates. So we'll let you know who's been bred on the next video and thank you guys so much for watching. See you soon.